the Limerick Doolin. There are many ghosts that haunt King John's castle, but once there was a ghost who haunted the streets of Limerick, the ghost of an Irish Confederate soldier who took the form of a Doolin. This is its tale. One cold and misty October's night, a young boy named Connor ran through the streets of Limerick, clutching stolen food to his chest. He had successfully sneaked past the castle guards and now was close to home. He was almost over Thoman Bridge when he heard galloping hooves behind him. Not wanting to be caught, Connor ran to the end of the bridge and hid behind a wall. He peeked out and saw an armoured man ride past atop a large white horse. But then Connor let out a gasp, because to his shock the horseman had no head. Connor ran all the way home, climbed through his window and curled up in bed. At breakfast the next morning, Connor asked about the rider, and his man told him the tale of a soldier whose head had been lost in battle, placed on a spike, and left on the battlements of King John's castle. Now, the horseman cannot be at peace, because he is still searching for his missing head. And so he appears on misty nights, night as a doolan, a headless rider. That night, Connor snuck out once again, but this time it wasn't for food. He crept over Tholmond Bridge, looking over his shoulder every step. He found where the castle wall was lowest and pulled out a hook on a rope. He swung it round and round his head before tossing it up towards the castle wall. Seven times it took before he found success, but then Connor was able to climb up the side of the castle. When he arrived at the top, he heard voices. What was that sound? shouted a guard in the courtyard. Connor hid in the shadows and began to creep along the wall, searching for the missing head where the guard searched for him. At last he saw it, sticking out from the top of the tallest tower. Connor began to climb once again, but a soldier peered down below him. Please don't look up, thought Connor. Then suddenly there was shouting, and the guards were no longer looking for an intruder. Instead, they were staring down at the streets, because the Doolin was riding around atop his white horse, creating the perfect distraction. Connor continued his climb, and finally reached the top of the tower. He pulled the missing head off the spike, tucked it away, and began his climb back down to the bottom. The next day, Connor buried the skull of the Doolin. He knew he would never see it again, because now, at long last, its spirit could be at peace.